Yo, what's up? So we're back with NBA 2K21. A few things dropped in the last few days that we're going to go over a little bit. But we also hit level 26. So st still trying to grind out the XP, which I just know is going to be a pain. But some stuff dropped for XP, which I'm definitely in favor of. But before we get into that, you know, there was the clutch packs that dropped. New clutch players also. So I'm not going to buy these. I don't think I'm going to buy any packs all year long, especially being no money spent. I don't think they're worth it and maybe too much of a risk unless we get to the point where we have like all collections done then we might start opening up these special packs but for now we're just gonna go to the market pick up the players we need for the missions for xp and just do it that way and then sell them off again but as far as the clutch cards go we got jason kidd jordan kobe kareem actually going back to kobe they already dropped an amethyst kobe which makes the uh the evil kobe card we get kind of irrelevant right now but we almost got that card to ruby so i don't know obviously getting an amethyst kobe card definitely gonna be really nice we got rip hamilton right here ray allen tony kukoc robert hori Kawhi leonard trevor ariza shane battier mario eli and john paxson so the emeralds are okay the sapphires Kawhi, you got to do a mission with him big shot bob right here and then ray allen ray allen probably could be the best card in this set as far as like lower end guys if you if you consider ruby low but the amethyst guys definitely look pretty nice then you got jason kidd so yeah we're not gonna open up these packs just because i don't think they're worth it and one one pack costs 17k like i ain't spending i'm not spending 17k on a pack absolutely not but it is a guaranteed but Knowing me, opening up a guaranteed one, we would get an emerald. So let's go to the, the XP mission. So this is one thing I do like. We'll kind of go over this a little bit, but still, you know, the XP is very valuable and kind of crucial. And I, th I still think, you know, like doing the dailies every day, got to do them. And doing the moments, you kind of have to do them. They haven't dropped any the last two days, which is kind of surprising. So I'm hoping they just continuously drop more XP because i don't know if they're dropping enough to be honest and especially if you want steph curry which we're level 26 and i think the highest i've seen people is 30 right now but me being at 26 i still need 126k in xp which is not easy at all so i'm pretty sure like a majority of the people probably like less than like Probably like 1% of the people, honestly, are going to get the Steph Curry card. We're, we're definitely going to try to get it, but it's going to be extremely hard. Now, Scottie Pippen, I think, is in reach for everybody. And Scottie definitely looks like a nice card. Actually, I don't know what the attributes are. But I'm assuming Scottie is going to be a pretty nice card. So I think everyone at least has a chance at getting him. Then the other card is Kyle Lowry, which I think most people can end up getting. Especially if you're doing all the XP missions and stuff like that. But without doing that... And without XP per games, definitely going to be pretty tough. I'm hoping pretty soon we can hit level 30 because I'm just waiting for this Ascension board. I want to get that Bob Lanier card. So that's another thing. And maybe, maybe Monday, Tuesday, sometime by then, we'll hit level 30 because we got some other stuff to work on. So going back to the missions, they did drop a few stuff with the clutch players. So be like Mike, score 39 and 6 threes with any clutch player score 45 and four steals and then score 55 so i feel like this is something that easily can be done in pro difficulty you know maybe play in domination versus the knicks or if there maybe is a pro moment you know i think the um there was a weekly one that was on all-star but the defense on that was kind of tough you know you're going up against diamonds and stuff like that so it wasn't that easy to score i tried to score 55 but I, I couldn't i think i scored like 40 then we got clutch Kawhi. so with him you got to get seven steals I, i'm actually surprised they didn't do it like in one game because some of these missions have been crazy so moving forward i want to see more like this where it's kind of open and you have as many games as you need to do it i rather have it like this than it be you know get like seven steals in a game or a triple double in a game i think those are a little bit more difficult but another one for Kawhi get 16 rebounds and then score 41 points see this is weird like it says 20 for 41 i probably got it in one game but i feel like the time you get it they don't show like it doesn't go over 41 so i did complete this but it just shows 20 for 41 but the game i got it in i obviously scored more than 21 then with rip hamilton so pretty much the players you need from that set are rip hamilton and Kawhi. and then with one of those guys or just pick up another guy you gotta pretty much go off score 39 and 6 or 55 points but with rip hamilton score 21 points four assists 
10 threes, any game mode, unlimited amount, and then have a field goal percentage of 85 or higher. So we actually did that. Now there's the week two stuff too, which is pretty nice. We already did the first set right here. So I think it's down here somewhere. So week two pickup. This one's pretty easy. Triple threat offline. Uh, obviously, you just play a triple threat offline game. But then you guys score four points with a center, score 12 points with a point guard, and use three Knicks players. So pretty much what I did was get Frank Nilakina and Robinson from the Knicks and just another Knicks player. And we did all this in one game. So I think that one's pretty easy. And then I think the next part of this, I've heard this one was glitched too, which is kind of crazy. But this dropped at like 3 a.m. the other day. And I actually did these first three missions. So I think I got the XP for them. And then they reset it for whatever reason. So I don't know. I think it's glitched though. But you got to win a domination game by five. Win a domination game on any difficulty. Score 10 with any small forward. And then win three domination games. So I think one of the things that I mentioned the other day. It's better to kind of hold off on doing some stuff. Because there's always going to be you know stuff like this. Like XP where you got to go back and do it. I'm not done with domination by any means. But you know that's something we're working on. And then the week two first half. We got Sticky Fingers earn three steals in a game. With any center, get three blocks in a game. Use three Daverick Mavericks players and then earn player of the game. That one's pretty easy. And then the second half of week two, apply a badge. Use five players from the Pistons. Win a triple threat with the Bulls. And then use an original owner from the Bucks. So I'm not really a fan of these original owner missions because you pretty much have to open up packs to get these. And I'm not opening up packs. So hopefully we got a Bucks player. I don't know if we do or not. But yeah, these kind of missions I think suck, especially when they kind of force you to maybe buy packs to get an original owner. So I'm not really a fan of those. Then they also drop. These were the other day, but I do like that they're doing something like this. We need more of these two. And because they dropped two divisions, we know the other four are going to come at some point. You know, we got some progress. But with Zach Levine, get eight dunks in a single game. Easily done in triple threat. And then 14 rebounds with Andre Drummond. Then with Sabonis, four offensive and defensive rebounds. Score 12 with Chris Middleton. And eight dunks with Blake Griffin. Kind of the same with Levine. Do that in triple threat. Then 16 points and three assists with Siakam. Double-double with Kyrie Irving. Two blocks with Mitchell Robinson. So we kind of did that when we did the Knicks one, you know, in triple threat. And then with a Joel Embiid scores six points and a steal. And with Kemba Walker, 20 points and five assists. So with these, I'm pretty much just buying the players and then doing their mission and selling them back. And I'm pretty much doing that for like any mission that comes out that requires a player. Like the, the clutch players, you know, once we finish up the Rip Hamilton missions, we're, like, we're probably going to sell them back, get our MT back. Same with Kawhi. So that's kind of how we're managing our MT a little bit right now. But, you know, I, I still feel like it's a little bit hard to gather MT if you're not trying to flip the market, which we haven't really touched that yet. Now, this is one that I really like, but I don't like how they did it. So we got Emerald Market Rewards, and I definitely want to see them do more of these. I just wish they dropped this before, like, most people went and picked their 10 Emerald players because then people kind of waste extra tokens. But with these, with Mayors Leonard 35 threes, which is kind of a lot, not gonna lie. 35 points in the paint with Isaac Austin. We're almost done with that one. Eight layups with Stacey Augman, 50 assists with Bobby Jackson, and 40 rebounds with Eton Thomas. So I think like two of these I didn't have, so we had to spend an extra six. That's also why so far I haven't really spent any of my tokens. You know, not that 48's a lot, but I'm just waiting to see if they do the same thing with the sapphire where's where is the market anyways the rewards i'm kind of waiting to see if they do the same thing with sapphire cards and then we'll start picking these guys up and i think we need 10 right yeah we need 10 so we almost can be at the ruby stage to be honest we probably have enough for rubies you know in the next couple of days or so probably by tonight to be honest but yeah i'm, I'm holding off on these just in case they drop more sapphire missions and I'm, I'm definitely 100% expecting them to do that. But regardless, happy they dropped those because <laughs> we definitely need more XP. Then we got my team limited. So for this week, 73 ball or lower. That's kind of tough right there. Not that anyone can really shoot either way. There's only like a few people that really can shoot. But, you know, a lot of people are going to go in the paint for this one. But I think this is the team we're going to mess around with. I don't know if it's good or not. I don't know. I think this is the team. I don't know if I'll have any gameplay on this because I haven't played any yet. And... You know, we're probably going to grind it out tonight, see if we can maybe get a ring. So we'll see what happens, but probably won't record any tonight. If I don't get a ring by tonight, then maybe tomorrow I'll record some gameplay. But I think that's it. We can check the auction real quick just to see the clutch cards that did drop. You know, I think the best ones 
might be Ray Allen, to be honest, because Ray Allen does have a pretty nice three ball at 93. I think his shot's pretty quick, too, you know, compared to previous years. So his shot's definitely looking pretty nice. Kawhi for the mission. And then I think Kobe was, like, stupid expensive, which, you know, it's Kobe. Everyone's going to be wanting Kobe this year. Um, anyone else that's like, let me, let me just look at the amethyst cards. So straight amethyst cards. We got Jordan right here. What's his, what's his mid range mid range at 85 three points kind of low at 69 and his speed is what? Ooh, speed at not yo speed at 93. I think that's such a game changer early on the first few Kobe's I think sold for like 400 K him being at hundred K right now is not bad, but he looks pretty nice. 83 mid 83, three, and then speed wise, what's he at 88. So he's definitely going to be pretty nice. And then Kareem, Kareem, I feel like always is going to be pretty good. And he got the inside game locked down. So I don't know like if we'll ever, ever be able to use him at any point. But yeah, we might, we might wait on these guys. We might wait on these guys. Not that I can afford them anyways. And then Jason Kidd. Wow, Kidd's kind of cheaper. I mean, I guess it makes sense that Kidd's cheaper than Jordan and Kobe. But Kidd, 84 mid, 77 three. Does he got good speed? He got to be, oh, 93 speed. Oh, he going to be a problem. I don't know why he's so cheap. I don't know why he's so cheap. Maybe his jump shot's not that good. But like attribute wise, speed, I like having the speed. I like having speed. So I think he could be pretty nice. Another thing real quick before we sign off and then probably get back to grinding a little bit. We got the premium collection. So if you collect all these guys, which I don't think is worth it, especially early on in the year. Because all these players probably get a better card later in the year. You could get a diamond Jerry West. Which, like I said, is pretty good for right now. But Jerry West definitely getting, what is it, a pink diamond, a galaxy opal, dark matter. You know, I don't even know what the, the other tiers are. But he's definitely going to get a 99 card at some point. So, I don't know. I don't think it's worth locking in these cards just to try them out. But he definitely could be pretty good. But that's pretty much it. So, last thing for me. We're probably going to grind out my team limited just to try getting that ring. But we're almost done with regular domination. So maybe when I finish this one up, we'll get some gameplays up with Nick Vanexo at the minimum and just try them out in unlimited. But this like whole next week, my main focus is to try to finish up at least historic. Do I want to go his? No, I have to do historic first. Yeah, I have to do historic first anyways, at least 33. But I might do all of historic and then depending on like the scheduling and stuff. We might be able to get Mike in. I definitely want to finish Domination, though, sooner rather than later just to get it out of the way. And then we can go on and grinding just Unlimited and, I guess, Triple Threat, to be honest. So we'll have this one done by Monday, especially if we can get this ring pretty quick, which never know with that RNG stuff right there. But that's going to do it for this one. Let me know what you guys think about everything that dropped. And if you guys tried out Kobe or Jordan, let me know how they are. We probably won't be trying them out anytime soon, which kind of sucks because those are cards I definitely want to try out. But other than that, you know, we're just going to try to get our XP up, do some of those missions. And hopefully, you know, like I said, by Monday or Tuesday, we'll have domination done. But also we can hit level 30 so we can get that ascension board and maybe give ourselves a chance at that Bob Lanier, which is a pink diamond. So I guess stay tuned for that. Other than that, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, drop a like in the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'm out.